Hey y'all, hey. So I'm back with another pick card reading. And if you watch this pile, you can um, know. This pick card pile is who has a crush on you. So Because I tried to watch YouTube, child, like, what is, uh, I don't have nothing against Christians, right? But, like, what is their obsession with the spiritual community? Because I'll tell you this much, I've never clicked on a spiritual video of somebody from the spiritual community telling them that Christians are evil. Never. I heard them talk about maybe how religion divides religion divides us and all that before, but I never heard them say, oh, you should stop being Christian. You should stop doing Actually, a lot of them are Christians. And that's what's the that's the weirdest thing. Like it's like, what is their obsession with calling people evil because they like crystals and rocks and tarot cards? <laughs> like I can understand other stuff, like when you start getting into voodoo dolls and and spells and all that i'm you know i don't never i don't believe in nothing that's good or evil you know in a sense but you know that you know i just feel like it's about your intentions but it's, it's this stuff that i wouldn't put do because i don't believe in controlling people i believe that god gave us free will so you should never try to take someone's free will away i, I believe in influencing Yes, like maybe you can do magic on yourself to make someone perceive you in a different way. I'm all for that, but I don't, I don't um, condone like actually like you know binding people to you. Like that's something I wouldn't do. So if I lose a battle, I just lose a battle. You get what I'm saying? I don't believe in hexing. I don't believe in nothing that you know. But as far as like healing and chakra healing and crystals and a twin flame journey and soulmates, like what is wrong with that? Like I'm trying to figure out what is wrong. What is what is what is evil about that? But I guess, I don't know, I just feel some type way. Because sometimes I'm still insecure because I am different in this way. So, like, when people, like, call me witches and, and evil and stuff like that, it kind of gets to me because I'm, like, still fresh in my journey and I'm still learning. And this is different and new to me. But I really feel like this is my calling, one of my callings. You feel what I'm saying? So that's all I got to say. It was just like a little mini rant. Ooh, my hand is itching. But I got three piles here. I have a, a blue Sharpie, a purple Sharpie, and a, a yellow Sharpie. You should be bringing your piles. This is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with pile number one. Who has a crush on you? Immediately, this is an ex. Somebody you dead it or they dead it you. They definitely or they definitely ghost you. But this is somebody who's coming back around. I'm hearing Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius. Virgo rising specifically, cancer, I said cancer already, I'm here, it's a lot of cancer and energy in that chart, you know, I used to think cancers was like the sweetest sign, right, but cancers are actually a little bit more, a little bit more manipulative than, than the people think, because yes, they live in their emotions and they always emotional, but the motherfuckers are sneaky. The motherfuckers are sneaky. So, you gotta be careful with those. Because cancers will be around you and not even like you. And that's the that's that's the craziest part. And I'm saying this because I think that this is gonna help you um, narrow it down to who it is. But, like, they'll really be around you or be, like, messing with you and not even like you. Yeah. But this person is coming back in for another chance. But I'm also hearing that this person may not stay long. For some of you, they will. But for a lot of you, if they, especially if this is a cancer, this cancer, because it's, it's, it's making me hone in on cancers for some reason, this cancer isn't, isn't planning on sticking along, around for long. They're coming in for romance. They're coming in for pleasure. They're coming in, you know, I heard for to win for some of them. So I wouldn't really take this too seriously. 
something is wrong with that heart because that chest is like really sticking out to me right now. Damn, I should have turned my flashlight on, but I already started recording in five minutes in. I don't want to um, unrecord it. Something is wrong with their heart. So I feel like maybe, I feel like this is one of the relationships. You ever break up with somebody, right? And then like you just be so single for so long and then they, they keep trying to get back at you. So you be like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and talk to them again. I think it's one of those situations. But this person, I do want to let you know this person is jaded. They haven't healed from the situation. And what you see in the, um, the belt buckle unbutton right there, the belt buckle unbutton right there, this person, especially, I'm hearing somebody might have an Aries moon, Scorpio rising. This is getting mad Pacific. I think some of you guys really need to understand this because this is a person that's gonna come in and they want sex. They're gonna come in like a knight in a shining armor, but they really want sex. And the, I think the reason why this is a skull because this situation is dead. Like, it's been dead for a long time and it should probably stay dead. You get what I'm saying? It should probably stay dead. This person also coming at night. Sorry guys, I'm a little slow on reading today. I hope you guys can see. I'm sorry my lighting is not as good. Right Let's see. Yeah, you got the next card out is a fool card. And as you can see, it's like this person is playing a lot of, I feel like this person is playing a lot of games, right? And this person's gonna come in and spool you. They're gonna take y'all to eat. They're gonna buy you nice gifts. They might even give you money. For some of them, they might pay you rent. They're gonna give you flowers and you're just gonna be chilling. You're gonna be chilling. Some of you guys might be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, um, Aries, Virgo, Taurus. That's basically everybody. Gemini. Not Gemini, no Gemini. Somebody got Gemini in their chart, but it's not a, a, a son. But um, you're going to be getting all these gifts, and they're going to be giving you money. They're going to be giving you food. You're going to be chilling, right? But they're really like, they have a plan. They're going to show, they're going to play everything. They like, not play their cards, because it's like, that's not how you say it. Like, I guess play their hand. They're going to play their best hand. When they come in, when they come in trying to get back with you, they're going to play their best hand. This person might even look like this, like might be slender. They might wear blue a lot. I'm seeing they play some type of sports where they wear a blue jersey or they did like in high school or something like that. But this person is a player, but this person is not your typical player. Like this is not like, oh, like the pretty boy at the bar that get all the girls. Like this is like a a, a calculated player. You guys say like he's calculated. He's like, okay, I'm a wine and diner for three months. Tell her I want to be with her or I'm a wine. I'm a, um. I'm going to text him and show him affection, cook him dinner, you know, show him affection. Something to do with head. Like, you might have good head or they got good head, but head is in, is into it. But they're, 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 um, they're just playing their best cards to get on your good side. To, to spark this dead relationship back up. But it's all a game, bro. It's calculated. They just want to win. They feel like last time y'all was in a relationship, they lost. Or whatever situation shit they feel like they lost. Yeah, it's like you left them wanting more. So you may have did a decision. This may be one of them type of relationships. Yeah, because they were when they first met you, they were sticking with their heart, right? But now they're thinking with their mind. Because it's like you left them and they feel like they lost. But honestly, I feel like this is one of the times, you know how, like, you know that something not going to work out with somebody, but the other person, like, okay, like, y'all might know y'all don't really like each other, but, like, they, this person might really like the way you look or, like, the status you have or something you have they really like, right? But deep down in their heart, they know that you don't want them, right? And deep down in their heart, they really don't want you. They just don't want you because you feel unattainable. They just want you because you feel unattainable, but they, they don't really want you for real like you know say like they don't really like you they just like the chase they just like they just want to win right so it's like that type of situation 
this person is thinking with their head now and not their heart before they were thinking with their heart but i think if you left them they kind of took it to heart but they shouldn't have because you didn't leave them because it's not like you left them for someone else it's not like you left them you left them for yourself and you left them because you you kind of felt bad like you knew that you didn't really like this person and instead of them taking you know rejection and understanding like not everyone's gonna like you they think they, they're taking it as a game right and they're trying to they're they're trying to respark a situation that that shouldn't be resparked. Like you see him on the ground with the rose, and the angels is talking to her. This person is going to stir romantic feelings in you, and you're going to feel you're going to feel like, oh, maybe this is the one, or maybe I made a mistake. You did make a mistake. Listen to your guides. When your guides talk to you about this person, when your guides uh, show you signs about this person, when your ancestors or whoever you're talking to, because some people connect more with their angels or some people connect more with their ancestors or both. Whoever you feel that you, you, you uh, that guides you the most, ask them. Ask for a dream. What I do is I ask for dreams. I ask for, I love me some lucid dreaming. <laughs> Boy, when I tell you, as soon as I learn about they better not let me learn how to be lucid dream, yo. I'll never be home. Like, I love me some lucid dreaming, right? So when I'm really confused about something, I ask for a dream. I'm like, can you please send me a dream, you know, so I can understand what's going on. So, like, ask for a dream, ask for a sign, ask for any of that, right? And don't forget, don't, don't be afraid to, um... To ask for guidance because they're going to guide you through this. They're like you're not going to see it immediately that this person is a player, but your angels, your angels and your ancestors is going to make that shit um, evident. Because that's what they do, man. I'm telling you, when you don't, when you confuse about something, or when somebody really trying to play you, and you want a God's angel, you want a God's child, which we are God's children. If you ask God to help you, God will show you a sign. It's it's, it's not going to be something you can ignore. The thing is, people choose to ignore it. You get what I'm saying? They choose to ignore the signs that God give you, but God will tell you, like, nah, that's not it. You feel me? So make sure you're paying attention. Especially to your dreams. Alright, let's just let's get some personality traits so we can kind of um tone this down. Then I'm gonna give you some advice and shut down this reading. Who has a a, a crush on power one? Yeah, so this, basically, this is a self-love. Self this person definitely got Gemini in their chart. It's like they're coming in as a completely different person, right? And this person doesn't have self-love. And I feel like you know this about this person because that's why you left this person. Like, you left this person out of mercy because you could have drugged this. Like, if you wanted to, you could have drugged this, this relationship through the mud. You could have drugged this relationship through the mud. You got positive thinking. Yeah. Again, that's what I'm saying. Listen to your spirit, guys. Listen to what your mind is telling me, right? And don't feel like some of you guys might be lonely right now or y'all been single for a while. So you're like, oh, I should probably talk to this person because I ain't talking about her a while. You got to have an abundant mindset that know that someone else is coming. But back to what I was saying before, it's like you know this person don't have self-love. You know this person is a little insecure. So they're loving you out of insecurity. And honestly, like some girls and some guys want to be loved out of insecurity they feel like they want to be needed by their partner like that they feel like but being loved out of insecurity is not love that's that's their fear of losing you their fear of being alone that's something they can have with anybody but like real love is not something you can have with anybody you get what i'm saying like a real connection is not something you can have with anybody so i'm about to have a real connection does somebody have like some type of trauma bond with me yeah comfort don't go back. Your advice from the angels is do not go back to your comfort zone. Don't go. I know this person is comfortable. I know this person may feel like familiar and all that, and you may not get been getting no play. Trust me, child. I've been trying to have sex for like the past this this past weekend. Like I've been blocked, like not blocked by guys, but like blocked by my angels. Like nobody hitting my phone and that guy was going you know give it up to like i almost cracked like no he was toxic he done he is he done got booked child like my 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 sneaky link got a girlfriend like he never he never have a girlfriend like that's what's weird like yo child listen <laughs> listen you feel me like listen Things happen, you know, and things happen for a reason. So I know I know how I feel to like feel like you hold one out. Like you know what I'm saying? Feel like you hold one out, feel like you want to be touched, feel like you want companionship or whatever. But this 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 person who has a crush on you, this is not it. And they want you to know don't go back to your comfort zone. You're gonna have to be, you know, kick it by yourself for a little while longer. Because this person does not like 
their intentions are not good. Their their intentions, I don't know if they're going to hurt you because I'm not going to go as far because this is not like a, a future reading. This is just who has a crush on you. I don't think they're trying to hurt you per se, but I think that this is, whatever they're giving you is not true love. You get what I'm saying? Therefore, it's not going to last. It's they're playing uh, they're playing out of their head, which, are, which means they're playing a game, which means this person could potentially get you, sleep with you, and leave you because they just want to win. But right now, it's like they just want to win. They just want to win. And you don't want to be with somebody who want to win. You want to be with somebody who wants to, to be with you. You know what I'm saying? But they just kind of want the upper hand because they're hurting. Because they feel like you hurt them because they wasn't good enough. When, the, when in actuality, you, you spared them because you can see you don't love yourself. So how are you going to love me? And those, and if you did that, that's the best type of person. You are the best type of person because you could have really just been like, oh, yeah, 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 I'll be your girlfriend. I'll be your boyfriend. And been cheating on them the whole time. And having them doing all types of crazy stuff and really broke their heart. But instead, it was like, nah, you know what? This ain't working out. Maybe we should just be friends or maybe we should just stop talking and people need to learn how to respect that but a lot of people don't you feel me they, they act out of ego i don't know why because i'd rather somebody tell me to my face like you know what this not working out like you know or you know i want to date other people then try to bring, run me through the mud for like months and months and months but yeah that's your reading power well, i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you comment on this video and leave a um Make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified when I post another video. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget about my Instagram giveaway. I'm giving away a, um, a chakra healing ornament. So if you want to enter that giveaway, all you got to do is follow my Instagram. I'm going to have the link in the description about the siren underscore, a siren soul underscore. Okay, you guys, welcome to your pile to pick pile to the purple marker. This is your, um... <laughs> Definitely, this is your reading. You definitely got like an Aries or a Leo energy. Sagittarius, oh no, I'm not really Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius is not really Sagittarius. I'm hearing big, I heard big Leo, um, big, like big, big Aries. Like this is a big Aries. Like this this is probably uh, somebody who got Aries like three times. This is probably a sun, um, moon, um, rising Aries. Like this is a dangerous type of Aries. Like this is the type of Aries that knock a nigga block off behind you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this person, that likes you. I don't think do they know this person yet? Some of you person, some of the people might have met this person in the summertime at some type of festival. Others of you haven't met this person yet. This person might be a boxer. You might be a dancer. Cause I'm seeing like somebody on like some type of uh, them uh, like not they not scars but like them cloths that people dance on in the air. Maybe I went to some type of club or something like that or some type of festival. People dancing on them seeing girls with glitter and like rhinestones on their faces and stuff like that whatever the fuck that means but this person um has real big like big dick energy boom like dick. this person is ready to fight for the death of you i think that when you met this person they was probably nauseous a lot or they was like preoccupied and they had to like um kill themselves with all this armor on it's like when you met them they was in a weakened state so they wasn't really concerned about love like it wasn't you but it's like they had to they had to learn how to open up they had to learn how to bring themselves out of the fire you know what i'm saying they've been through a lot so it was like i'm not really some of you yo some of you guys might have a boyfriend or they know you have options or whatever and they're or a girlfriend or whatever have options i just speak you know if it's if you're a guy just flip it around because it's the same shit you know i just speak because i'm a female so i'm of course i want to assume a god but what i'm saying is this person is ready to fight for you like they ready to fight for you like um you ever heard i seen a meme today was said it was like i'm ready to post this nigga and say get him back in blood like this is the type of time they on like you know what i'm saying like they don't care who in your life they don't care this person's um some of them are six foot six five to be exact this person does not care who you like he does not care like if you're dating someone he does not care if you don't want him he does not care like this person is coming they're coming hard they're willing to fight for your heart they're willing to fight to lock it down so this person is going to be very aggressive not in a bad way but this person is going to be very aggressive this person is going to be a bit protected but this person is healed like not all, of course we never all the way healed but this person is has done their shadow work this person has you know been working on themselves so they're not coming to to you know how sometimes fuck boys come in your life to fuck you and it's like tear you down and shit like that like this person this of course this person wants to sleep with you but this person's not coming for that they're coming to start something with you something solid yeah but the only thing about this is 
the only thing about this is everybody got fucking um crushes and stuff i mean exes and kind of that the only thing about this is this person is not thinking with their head they're thinking specifically with their heart like they're riding in on a night like a knight in a shining arm and they're coming to get you they're like listen i want her i'm coming to get her i want him i'm coming to get him like it's it is what it is this person might be very strong they may wear suits they definitely probably go to the gym um yeah tall Yeah, you probably met them at some type of festival. I'm feeling some type of a uh, festival. Whatever. Next time you see them, I think it's gonna be at night. They're gonna take you on some type of a night date. They may even take you on a horse and carriage, but that's a stretch. But this person is thinking with their their heart, not their head. Like their head is completely gone. Cause you know how like um okay, let me tip because I tell you about my life to to to, uh, to help you. I remember I used to date this guy, and I went to this club, right? And uh, me and him was just friends. Like he was just you know a guy I go out with or whatever sometimes. And this guy, I guess I was looking real real good, girl, cause you know I was looking real real good. And this guy like came up to me, like he was he was like approaching me, like he seen me and he was coming straight towards me. Mind you, the guy I came with was standing right next to me, like right next to me. And I remember him saying, he was like, yo, you might be too much for me cause you got uh, niggas willing to risk their lives like to come to you. Cause you never, like when, when you, when guys, when guys, guys are protective of their women, right? So you never know what type of reaction you wanna get. So if you, if you willing to disrespect this man to try to talk to me, like, it's, that's crazy. And the only reason why he stopped, because his friend put his hand up in front of him. Like, I'm not, I, I can't make this up. I would, I've never been so flattered in my life, right? Because this man, like, he was so determined. Like, he was, I wonder if he would have made it over there, what was he going to say? You know what I'm saying? Like, he was so determined when he seen me. Like, it wasn't even funny. I ain't never seen a nigga be that sure about me since my twin, before my twin, I haven't before my twin flame, but I ain't never seen a nigga be that sure about me since my twin flame. You get what I'm saying? And even my twin flame didn't approach me on that type of time. Like, that's what I'm saying. This, that boy probably had man. Had areas in his chart, right? So what I'm saying, the only reason why he can't, he didn't come up to me is because his friend put his hand up in front of him, and then they started talking. Like, the, mind you, we're in the club, so I'm watching all this happen. He started talking to him. And he was like, the guy kept trying to press him. Like he's like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm about to go over there. And he's like, no, nah, chill, chill, chill. Like looking and pointing at my the my friend that was sitting next to me, right? So at the point I'm trying to make is that man was ready to risk his life, risk it all to talk to me at that moment in time. This would that this would type energy I'm getting from this 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 pile. Like this this the energy. Like he's not thinking with his head. He's not thinking. Oh, if I go over there, I'm getting I might get in a fight. Or oh, if I go in there, she might break my heart. Or oh, if I go over there, like she might you know this me. If I go, they probably couple like he don't give a fuck i'm like this person don't give a fuck like this type of energy this is good energy to have but the thing is they are rushing in right and this situation probably was dead or whatever and i feel like some of you guys might be a scorpio or a cancer it's a lot of um water in your chart right and you are you are going through some things like you're reminiscing, like not even just with this person, because this could be like that. This was a um, this could be like that. This was a dead relationship that you're reviving, but then this could also be like you're thinking about all your past relationships and what happened to them and like what went wrong and all that, right? And this person's just thinking about what they want. They're thinking like, you know what? I'm trying to grab you up, but you're thinking about what, all this water in your chart, all these all these tombstones and stuff. It's like you're thinking about what happened in your life or whatever. And you're like, I don't even know if I want to be in a relationship. You got some exes peeking out here, trying to come back to life. It's like, but you're like, I don't even know what I want to do, yo. Like, I'm chilling right now. But this person's not taking for no for an answer. They see what they want and they're coming to get it. So it's up to you, because if you're in a healing process and you feel like you want to heal and you want to work on yourself, go ahead and heal and continue to work on yourself. You don't have to be in a relationship with this person because they're being mad aggressive. I'm just telling you that somebody who has a crush on you that's probably a little bit tall and stature. So um, for, for one or two of you, the guy is 6'5". Um, it's 6'5", exactly. Um, I'm getting Aries. There's definitely a lot of Aries in his chart. A lot of Aries in his chart. So... I'm telling you that this person has a crush on you. This person has a nice car. They might have a Mustang or something like that. They got a fast car though. But this person's willing to fight for you. Like he's willing to fight and he don't care about these walls. So that's why I say if you feel like you don't want to be with him and heal, or you feel like you don't want to be with her and heal, that's cool. But this person don't even care about the walls you got up. <laughs> like for real. 
Yeah, so this person is going to come in and they're going to try. They're going to really try and they're going to try to show you something different. They're going to try to make you feel protected. They're going to try, you know, to spark some chemistry because they see it there and they see what they want. They know what they want, right? Oh, this is a good-ass pile, sis. This is a good-ass pile. Like, this person is going to come in and try to give you something. Um, <laughs> Rolling on my wrist. Somebody is going to try to come in and give you. This person might have some money, too some money somebody wrist might get flooded <laughs> you feel me i hope it's mine shit <laughs> but this person's gonna come in and try to give you a gift or give or just give to you in general time attention money whatever to try to when you over and they don't care about again they want you to know that they don't care about your roster or your boyfriend or whoever or your fuck buddy sneak me link whatever you got going on to let you know that they don't care so just keep that in mind this might lead to marriage, lead to um, long-term commitment. Yeah, this person, when they come to you, they're looking for commitment. They're looking to keep you. They're looking to stay around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, and of course, if you don't know this person, of course, like, sometimes, like, what we got to understand about tarot, it's not how they feel right now because this could be a crush that's coming in and they don't know that they feel like this yet so you can go on a date and it could be like oh okay i just chill date and then as they talk to you more they like they come into this energy because this is the future energy that they're going to embody but they have a question right now if that makes sense it could also be something like that so i want y'all to keep that in mind so don't be like oh i just met him like how could he be in love with me or i haven't met no one yet right you can literally meet this person next week and they could be mad regular and then all of a sudden like this switch hits and they have this energy you get what i'm saying so keep that in mind Yeah, but this person's gonna wanna lock you down. <laughs> this person is leading with their heart, yo. They wanna go wherever you go. And like, even though they've been hurt, cause like I said, this person is a person who did some shadow work. This person is a person who worked on themselves. You know what I'm saying? So they try and go wherever you try and go. They try and do whatever you try and do. Like they with it, like they with it. Like, you know, with it. I hear pop so saying, like I'm a freak, turn me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I feel like, as to say that, I feel like, it's like, listen, like I can do whatever you want, just turn me up. Like I'm with it, I'm with whatever. Like I hear, that's all I hear is pop smoke saying, with whatever. If you don't know who pop smoke is, then just, just put it in and type in like, I'm with whatever pop smoke, I'm sure it'll come up. But like, all I hear is I'm saying, I'm with whatever. Like this person is trying to go wherever you trying to go, trying to do whatever you trying to do. And they don't care, like they, they don't care. Like somebody might be from New York, for real like that's why because i keep hearing like new york accents so it's like they don't care they don't care like i don't care like literally <laughs> it's whatever that's cute though i fuck with that energy healthy lifestyle so even though this person is um all right i'm gonna read you all this story even though this person is uh aggressive this is gonna be end up being a healthy relationship if you need help to understand who this person is or if you should move forward with this person because, again, some of you guys are hurting and you're still, like, in self-reflection mode. Don't forget that you can talk to your guys. You can talk to your ancestors anytime you want. Just call out. Literally, I just talk to God, like, out loud, and I ask for signs and ask for stuff. So you can do that as well. They want you to understand, like, this is your choice, right? But either way, this person, if you want them to wait, they can wait, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't feel like, oh, this person like me, they showing me love, I gotta jump in a relationship. No, continue to heal. You can have fun with them and go on dates with them and stuff like that. It don't really matter. Like, you don't have to jump into a relationship with them tomorrow because they like, oh, wow, I'll marry you, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, still continue your healing process. They want you to understand that. And lastly, you have leadership. With this leadership card, they do want you to, to work on um, dropping your burdens, though. Like, don't feel like just because I said work on yourself of course work on yourself but don't feel like you need to carry whatever you got going on in this graveyard to this next relationship whatever you got going on down here you don't need to carry that with you you know what I'm saying so they, they want you to know it's okay to let go but yeah okay so that's your reading pile too I hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you comment on this video make sure you like this video make sure you share this video with anyone you think it might help don't, make, don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video and I'm having a giveaway so I'm giving away a chakra healing ornament so if you're interested in joining my giveaway all you have to do is follow my Instagram which the link will be in the description box below it is cyber so underscore all you gotta do is follow it and type done on the giveaway post which you'll see when you add me on that instagram i'll be choosing the winner february 1st 
Now I'm gonna move on to pile number three. Hey, pile number three, if you chose pile number three, you chose the yellow highlighter. Let's see who has a crush on you. Your car accidentally flipped over while I was shuffling and I thought Earth Angel. This person is a fucking sweetheart. Like this person is so sweet. Like they're so sweet and they're so shy. Like this person is gonna take a little bit to come to you and they're gonna take a little bit to open up. Like they're not, this is like a dreamy person. They might have blonde hair, they, but they look very approachable. They're very, like even if they're a guy, like they're, they're, they're the type of guy like you would get in a car with late at night, right? Not that you should do that, but I'm just saying like if it was anyone, it's like, okay, I'll probably trust you, even though I shouldn't, because you shouldn't trust strangers. But this is like, you know, a person that looks very trustworthy. This is a person who looks like they don't, they wouldn't cause harm to nobody, and they wouldn't, they wouldn't. This person wouldn't. But I'm just saying, this person, I'm trying to give you like some looks, you get what I'm saying? Like, they take care of their skin, they look very soft. Like, even if they're masculine, they look very soft. They look like, okay, even if they're masculine, they remind you of a Disney um, prince instead of like a, a like a, like a, 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 a twilight, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know how you got twilight, so you got like the sexy, the sexy or twilight or um, um, or the game rapper for uh, the uh, black folks who didn't watch twilight. <laughs> but like, like you know how they look real rough? This person is like a um, Miguel or like a, um, uh, a, a Disney a Disney prince you get what I'm saying like they like that like they still masculine and they, they look like they can still protect you but they don't look hard you get what I'm saying you know they don't look hard or how Drake used to look if you're like Miguel look a little feminine Miguel do look a little feminine but they he look like how Drake used to look how Drake when Drake first started getting fine because now he looked a little too hard now or like I don't know oh y'all know what I'm trying to say y'all know what I'm trying to say but this person is definitely an earth angel like their their heart is really pure they speak in kindness and honesty but this person was shy to talk to you for a long time. They was really, really shy to talk to you for a long time. But at this point, they're like, you know what? I got to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say anything. You may look like this. You may have black hair, wear dark lipstick or something like that. So they may have thought like that. I think this person or like even if you're not like a golfer, you could just be like, you know how bad bitches, you know, like how you dress with the ombre look like just, you know, extra. Like they might have thought like, oh, I probably can't be with this girl because she probably like thugs. She probably like gangsters. Like, you know. When people look at me, they think I like that. And I do, I do. But I also like nice guys. So my dream would be to find a nice guy gangster. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that. But you know, I feel like I can manifest anything. But they might feel like they don't look tough enough for you or they don't, are they not like gangsters or something. So they probably thought they couldn't get to you, right? But at this point in their life, they probably, I feel like this person between 26, 27, maybe 28 older but no no um younger than 25 and they probably like you know what i'm gonna try talking to this person because i'm getting older and who knows what can happen so this person is definitely gonna try the question on pile number three Taurus, capricorn aries right I don't know. I never met a shy Aries, but he must got like he could have a cancer a moon. He could have a cancer moon, so I could see that. My ex was a um a Leo uh a Leo Cancer a Leo uh sun a Cancer moon and a a, a Gemini rising. <laughs> yes. Yo, know, that shit was, I don't even know why that shit, but he had, he also had a lot of Aries in his chart. So they can, but he looked really like kind, you get what I'm saying? So that's why I say like, he can look very kind, but this person does have a side to them where they'll get with a motherfucker. So don't feel like they won't protect you if they need to. And you also gonna find out this person is a closet freak. Like this person is a freak. Like once you let them in there, and they love to go down. <laughs> they want you to know that for some reason. They are freak, they are the freak freak a leak like they push a thumb in the butt type freak you feel what i'm saying so i want you to know like this person is a freak i hope everybody 18 or older watching this freak girl because but listen this part this person wants you to know that they this this person that that's had the crush on you they look real and they say they look real cool or whatever but they really about they they really about that they really about that like they're really you know please you and be and they really will protect you if it come down to it 
These are the most dangerous type of people, yo, for real, for real. The people who don't look dangerous, who don't talk all that smack, be the most dangerous people. This person definitely got some cancer in it. Yeah, but they look so soft and so cuddly. And they probably wear, like, I feel like this person wears white a lot, whereas they, their clothes always look really clean. This person might be a little bit tall, a little bit awkward looking. Some of them may wear glasses. They may be a hermit. They also may stay in the house a lot, right? But you're gonna bring, you're gonna end up taking them out the house. Like, you're, you, I feel like a lot of people in this pile, I'm hearing some of you guys are Scorpios. Like, a lot of, I feel, I feel like some of you guys are gonna end up bringing them out their shell, like taking them outside or whatever. This is how you're gonna find this other side, but it's gonna be cool. You're gonna like it though. Let's get on my card. You guys are gonna be mad attached to each other. When y'all do link up, y'all gonna be so attached to each other. And you're gonna be like, whoo! Like, literally, like, I don't want to talk to him because I don't want to get demonetized. I don't know how it does that. But you're going to be like, ooh, come give it to me. Like, daddy. Like, they give me daddy energy. Like, seriously, daddy energy. But this connection going to start slow. This connection going to start really slow. But then y'all going to be so attached to each other. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna um, start off really slow. I start off talking or whatever, and this person's gonna be mad shy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they're not gonna at first. They're not gonna open up and show they self, their true self or whatever. Or it could be vice versa. You might be shy and not show your true self, but eventually, is you gonna open up to them and they're gonna open up to you, and y'all gonna end up falling into commitment. This this connection is is approved by the angels. Like this is a person. Some of you guys might marry this person. Some of you guys might just have a long-term relationship. But this, this is one of those connections where it's like that that your, your, your guys and your angels will allow in your life. They will allow it. They approve of it. This is experiences that you deserve to have and that they deserve to have. This is not something that's going to have you stressed out or lagging. Let's get you on. The spirit will take a motherfucker out your life if they know they're going to start your growth. Love, this person's really healthy. Yeah, so you got you are safe. The courage and prioritize. So when this person does come in, have the courage to at least explore it. Like this person is probably not the typical type person you would date. So you'd be like, okay, I don't, I don't really date this type, but you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try, right? And also make sure you prioritize love. Like, because I think a lot of you guys haven't been prioritizing your relationships. Listen, I get it, sis. I get it, hun. You know, if you're a guy. But, because I be doing the same thing. I be working on my career. Then I be tired. And I be like, y'all, I'd rather just chill, watch TV. I've been watching a lot of TV lately. I don't know what's working for me. I just need, like, a mental break from business and all that stuff. But, what I, I say all that to say is, like, you still have to, you have to be intentional. Especially when you, in your life's purpose, or you just working a lot. You have to be intentional about making time for love, making time for, you know, earthly connections. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be, oh, I'm spiritually connected. I'm spiritually connected, but I'm not seeing my friends. I'm not having a love life. I'm not spending time with my family. You know what I'm saying? You have to figure out how to do all three. 
But with that being said, that's your reading pile for you. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this uh, video. Make sure you comment on this video. Make sure you um, subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time you post a video. With that being said, I am. I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget to join my giveaway. If you want to join my giveaway, I'm giving away a chakra healing ornament and a free reading. So all you have to do is follow my Instagram page, which is Syra so underscore the link will be in the description underneath the um pick a card timestamps and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye